Welcome back to Wake Forest Men's Health. Today we're talking about urethral stricture disease. And this is a common reason that men will come to our practice, seeking our level of expertise as one of the few high volume centers in reconstruction for the lower urinary tract. So you might say, well, what is a stricture? Well, let's take a look at male anatomy. All right, here we have the bladder, holds urine, empties urine. It's that simple. Prostate sits right below the bladder and contains the first part of our urinary drainage tube. This is what's referred to as the urethra. And it starts here, just below the bladder neck, and runs all the way to the outside. So when we talk about a stricture, essentially what we're talking about is scar tissue. Scar tissue that's constricted the opening through which urine passes. As a result, it can result in a weak urinary stream, and when severe, it could even prevent urine from leaving at all, a situation we refer to as urinary retention. Now, the most common location happens to be in this part of the urethra, and most people won't recognize how this happened. Could have been due to trauma. Maybe they came down too hard on something, what we call a straddle injury. Could have been due to instrumentation, maybe a catheter, maybe a scope, possibly from passing a stone, maybe a prior infection resulted in the scar tissue. But either way, if it starts to interfere with urination, it's a good reason to see a reconstructive urologist to talk about what can be done. Some men may undergo simple dilation, whereby they look inside, stretch the scar without removing it. And in those cases, you might see temporary improvement, but in general, that tends to collapse again with time. The amount of time that a man gets between the intervention and the return of symptoms can vary, but if they've had multiple prior procedures, it tends to be diminishing returns, whereas you're not getting as long as you did before. Some urologists may go in with a scope and use a laser or another instrument to basically create grooves and incisions in the scar and then put a temporary catheter to hold it open, hoping that it's going to heal in an open configuration. Long-term, the results from this are poor. So in many cases, men come to our office seeking definitive therapy, something that would give them the best chance of never needing another procedure. And in that case, we can talk about urethroplasty, which is essentially a plastic surgery, a plastic surgical repair of the urethra. In the setting of a short, isolated segment, if it's located in this area of the urethra, many times you can just remove the part that's causing the problem and then take the two ends of the healthy urethra, free them up a little bit, and then bring them together with suture and let it heal without tension. That's what we call an anastomotic or coming together type of pair. If the scar is longer, or if it's in an area that's further away where we don't have as much slack, in that situation, if you have a scar like that or a stricture like that, we may simply open it, wait over the scar, and then put a patch. So now, if you've created that linear opening, you can see inside, and now you're back to healthy there, back to healthy here, and now you simply need a root, you can take a strip of tissue, lay it on top, and sew it in place. And then leave a catheter temporarily while that heals. And in many cases, over 90% of the time, men will do great. Where do we get this tissue from? It varies. Many times we can take it from inside the mouth. Very easy to do. Heals very quickly. Similar to if you had a pizza burn or hit the inside of your cheek. You recognize it's a little uncomfortable temporarily, but it heals rapidly and the results are fantastic. So if you are experiencing symptoms like this, or if you have a history of urethral stricture, come in and talk to us, and we'll go over this in more detail.